Welcome to this parameter settings tutorial for the AccuVim 2 series multifunction power and energy meters from AccuEnergy. In this tutorial, we will show how the AccuVim 2 series is programmed using the physical meter keys. We will start by accessing the settings using the password. Let's begin in the meter data mode. Press the H and VA keys simultaneously and the display will become blank indicating you have entered the mode selection screen. The meter icon will now be flashing at the top of the screen. In the mode selection screen, the P and E keys are used for navigation. Press P to move right until the setting icon is selected, then press VA to confirm. The screen will briefly display ADDR001, which means the meter address is 001. It will then jump to a password screen. To enter the password, press P to increase the value, E to decrease the value, and press H to move the flashing digit. For instance, if your password is 1200, press P to change the first digit to 1, press H to move to the next digit, and push P to change the value to 2. When you finish inputting your password, Press the VA key to confirm. If an incorrect password is entered, the screen will remain. The meter's factory default password is four zeros. Press VA to confirm the password. The screen will now be directed to the parameter settings main menu, which is System, I.O., Net, and Alarm. Moving on to the system settings, press VA to enter system settings mode. In this mode, you will find multiple screens for a variety of parameter settings. You can enter your password to make changes to any of these settings. Certain models of the AccuVim 2 series may have different screen variants. This particular demonstration is for the AccuVim 2R. Now let's look at the communication settings. Press the P key to move forward to the next screen and the E key to move backward. The first screen is ADDR001 meaning the meter address is 1. The second screen shows BPS 19200, meaning the meter serial port baud rate is 19,200 BPS. The next one shows BPS 38400, meaning the optional RS-45 modules baud rate is 38,400 BPS. Please note, if you wish to use the Ethernet module, this screen must be set at 38,400. Otherwise, the Ethernet module will be inactive. Moving along to the 31st screen, you will see PAR1 1NO. This indicates the serial port parity is set to no parity, one stop bit. The next screen means the optional added RS45 module parity is set to no parity, one stop bit. Please note if the Ethernet module is being used, this screen must be set at 1NO. Otherwise, the Ethernet module will be inactive. Next, we look at wiring configurations and PT and CT settings. Pressing P a few times will take us back to the fourth screen, wire mode U3LN. This means the voltage wire mode is three hot wires and one neutral. The next screen indicates wire mode I3CT, meaning the current wire mode is 3CT. 3-line three 3CT three wiring is popularly used in low-voltage systems. PT1-400 means the primary side value of the potential transformer. For example, if a 4200 to 120 volt transformer is used, PT1 should be 4200 volts. To make a change, press VA and the setting will flash, indicating it is ready for editing. Press H to move the flashing digit. Press P to increase or press E to decrease the value, making the change, for example, to 4200. Pressing VA will then save the change. PT2400V indicates the secondary side value of the potential transformer. In this case, we are changing it 
to 120 volts, and the same PT setting process applies. If you do not have a potential transformer, simply leave PT1 and PT2 at the factory settings of 400. CT1 5 amps means the primary side value of the current transformer. If a 100 amp to 5 amp CT is used, this screen should be 100. To make a change, press VA and the setting will flash indicating it is ready for editing. Press H to move the flashing digit, press P to increase, or press E to decrease the value, making the change, for example, to 100. Pressing VA will save the change. CT2, 5 amp or 1 amp, depending on the meter option you choose, means the secondary side value of the current transformer. It should be left at factory setting of 5 amps or 1 amp. Finally, we will clear the kilowatt hour data. If you want to clear the kilowatt hour reading, press P repeatedly until you see a screen named E C L R N O. You then change the setting to yes by pressing VA, then P, and then confirm by pressing VA again. The kilowatt hour reading will now be cleared. To exit the parameter settings mode, Press H and VA simultaneously to go back to the mode selection screen with the setting icon flashing at the top. Press P to move the icon to the flashing meter icon and press VA to return to the meter data mode. In conclusion, these are the procedures for the basic parameter settings on the AccuVim 2 series. For advanced settings, please refer to our user manual contained on the product disk with each meter. You may also download any of our user manuals, software, and brochures directly from our website at www.accuenergy.com.